Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're gonna be updating Final Cut Pro to the latest version 10.4.4. Alright, the best thing about this update will be bad share. That I have been waiting for forever. So that's my favorite part about it, that we can finally do that. However, before you guys go on and get into the update, please make a backup and don't have any ongoing projects. Okay, that's that's the main thing here. Don't be working on a specific project and make this update. Apart from that, go into your time machine and set that up, okay? So I'm gonna back up my Mac right now. My time machine is right here. It's a program that's pre-installed on your Mac and you guys can make that time machine backup. Now that's very important, just in case you guys have to recover something, this is the easiest way to recover anything, all right? You guys can even go back before you guys made this update. So that's very important to keep that thing going. Now I do have a separate video showing you guys how to set up Time Machine and everything about Time Machine, so make sure to check that out in my channel. After you are done making your Time Machine backup, I want you guys to go into your Apple logo right here on the top left hand corner of your computer. You guys will see your App Store, okay? We're not gonna do a system preferences update just yet. We're gonna go right into your App Store and then we're gonna see Final Cut Pro. So that's gonna be our last option right here. You guys see Final Cut Pro. And if you guys click on more, you guys can see all the updates that come with it. Now it does take three gigs. That means it's gonna take some time. It all depends really on your internet speed. For some of you, this could just take 15 minutes. For me, it's gonna take about 30 minutes. And yeah, that's about it. Installation time's kind of fast with Final Cut Pro, but the downloading time could take a little bit longer. If you guys are there waiting two hours for this to download, sure, I can see that if your internet speed's not that great right now. Anyways, here is where you guys would click on update. All right. Now, if you guys don't see the update here, don't worry about it. You guys can just click. Let me just zoom in a little bit more on the search right here and just type in Final Cut Pro. Now let's just search for that and you guys will see right here, it's gonna say update. So that's very important, all right? So as long as you guys see Final Cut Pro and the update button, you guys can update it right from here. Now let's say you guys still don't see an update there. Um, there is a workaround. You guys might have problems with your Apple ID right now. So it's very important for you guys to click up here, all right, where it says store and just sign out from your Apple ID. And then just sign back in and you are done. The sign out and sign back in is the, your very last option once you guys click on the store option. All right. Now, if you guys are not in the newest Mac OS, don't worry about it. You guys can still do the update. Just not sure if you guys can do it from Sierra. So if you're all the way back in Sierra, obviously this app store looks a little bit different, actually a lot different, but you guys will see your update taskbar up here on the top. And that's the only difference really. Um, and from there, you guys can update Final Cut Pro. But again, Sierra, I'm not sure if that can update your Final Cut Pro to the latest version. Hi Sierra, you guys might be able to do it. And for sure in the latest OS, obviously you guys will be able to update your Final Cut Pro. So it really depends what OS you guys are at. Some OSs, if they're too way far behind, they cannot update your Final Cut Pro because it just won't be compatible, all right? Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.